Eh, que rega, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right, man. Um, Javante Davis, coach Calvin Ford, have been there from the beginning. Says they've been waiting on the Lomachenko fight. Um, let's talk about it. Don't the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, a social media subscription. Um, let's talk about it. Hold on. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the box news playlist. All right. So here we go right here. It says Javante Davis versus Vasali Lomachenko. Tank's trainer, Calvin Ford, says we're waiting on that fight. All right. It says Javante Tank Davis, uh, trainer, Calvin Ford, says they're waiting for a mega fight with Vasali Lomachenko. He thinks it'll be a huge contest when it happens. Davis could have fought Lomachenko years ago, but his promoter, Floyd Mayweather Jr., hasn't chosen to let Tank uh, take the fight. It's believed Mayweather's waiting until Lomachenko 62, 16 and 2. They might be waiting until he's 62, 16 and 2. 11 big ones has gotten sufficiently old before he lets Tank face him. It's too bad because it would have been a huge one if Tank had fought Lomachenko two or three years ago. Ford says that in 2022, all the top lightweights are going to fight each other. Boxing fans has doubt whether the top guys at 35 will fight each other or choose to milk their titles against weak opposition. Now he says Javante Davis, Lomachenko, Equals chess chess match. Davis is going, okay. I don't need to read that. It says we're waiting on the fight. Said trainer Calvin Ford to ES News when asked about his thoughts on Tank Davis versus Vasily Lomachenko fight. Quote: It's going to be a chess match. I don't know if Loma will take the chances that he will with Tank, but that's a mega fight. To tell you the truth, it's a fight that people have been waiting on. I don't know what Lomachenko's next fight is. 2022 is going to be a really interesting year for all of them. It's going to tell the truth because they got to fight each other. I heard Secure is trying to fight them. That's a good one. That's a step up fight for both of them. Say Kyle before we react to the new Secure Stevenson fighting Oscar Valdez next April 30th. I'm always going to grow. I think even go with Secure Stevenson. Forward on Davis fighting Camposo. I don't train Tank for knockouts, but it's going to be a brutal fight. Say Ford when asked about what will happen when Javante Davis fights undisputed lightweight champion George Camposo. I don't think Tank is going to fight for undisputed. Okay, who cares? It's your opinion. Ryan versus Pitbull Cruz said, man, how many times are we going to hear Ryan going to fight somebody? Said Hunter to ES News. So who they do? Who's Hunter they talking about? So I don't know. So I don't know. So, But uh, I ain't here to talk about that. So... I don't know who Hunter is, so whoever the hell Hunter is. But, you know, like I said before, you know, uh, so now you're seeing how they're saying that uh, the fight would have been huge two or three years ago. So now they're saying the fight don't have no, basically don't have no merit right now. And um, and um, saying that, you know, Lomachenko, oh, now we're not going to get credit to Tank for fighting him. So Tank shouldn't fight him right now. Tank shouldn't fight him. Now he ain't going to get no credit because he got two losses in. Shit, nobody need to fight Lomachenko because Lomachenko don't bring no money to the table. Let's Lomachenko end up with all them titles then. That's the only, you know, you know, risk somebody should take to fight Lomachenko. But like I, like I said before, you know, it's going to be interesting. I mean, I wish they do. I wish they would fight. Uh, he said, you don't know if Loma going to take the chances they want to fight. But who don't want to? Who do you want to fight? You know, because Tank said he helped pick his fights too. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know. PBC is known for giving us, you know, fights that uh, are beyond its uh, beyond its expiration date. They were sending Discord. They were talking about Bernie was on the Boxer Voice today with Ness, and I kind of turned in and listened to it a couple times, bro, a little bit. And you know, he was saying, "Well, Crawford got to go over there. He got to ask you. You know, did you? Like I said before, man." You know, for him to be a boxing channel and a predominantly boxing channel, be around as long as he did, you know, you got you to gotta ask yourself, do these dudes comprehend the stories that go out here? You read them, you hear about them, you talk about them, but do you comprehend the facts? If you listen to the Tim Smith interview, he says that I don't know how those negotiations are going. He said that Crawford and Spence were negotiating. Right, and they said, "Well, you got to go over there and talk." You telling Bernie, "You got to go over there." You know, Bernie can't say everything. 
He already went over. They was negotiating. We know he just pulled out of negotiations. You know, Nets been been in the boxing game for a long time on the boxing voice. You know what I'm saying? For him not to have connections or not to be able to comprehend basic stories, it's crazy to me. But you know what? When you are a PBC nut hugger, you don't see logic. You don't. Remember, he said he backed Al Heyman for an interview. He said, you know what this do to my do for my career? Bob, I don't care about you niggas. If you want to interview with Barbara Waters and Gail Sayers and Oprah, why the fuck are you interviewing Ness? Why would he interview with a nigga like me? You know, and then Tim, I mean, one day in Tim Smith at the White Class Center, he dissed YouTubers right in front of the nigga face. He had like he wasn't one of us. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, PBC don't understand lives again. You know, this article, I kind of agree. You know what I'm saying? Mayweather, that's what Mayweather did when he was when he was fighting, bro. He waiting niggas get old. He waited for Pacquiao to get old. That's a fact. He waited for Pacquiao to get old, bro. He's a con man, bro. That's what Mayweather is. Not pretty. You now, when he was pretty boy, okay. I give up. You know, he was straight. He's a con man. Floyd the con man. Mayweather Jr. He's a con man when it comes to boxing. Just because he say he the best and don't make him make him the best. He's a con man. You know, I remember he said that after Tank fought in Baltimore, he said, "Nah, he feel like he's ready for Tevin Farmer." So you didn't feel like he was ready for Tevin Farmer before. That says a lot. We want to fight. He want we want him to fight Lomachenko, and Floyd don't think he's ready for Tevin Farmer. I watched the end of the fight press conference for the fight in Baltimore. You know, and then Floyd don't have no faith in niggas like Calvin Ford because he always coaching from the sideline talking over him. <laughs> Added Barry Hunter, and then he talk over Barry Hunter and, and Tank. After that performance for Easter Cruz, if anybody think they got a they got they you know they got an average IQ in boxing, do anybody think that they gonna throw him in there with Lomachenko? Lomachenko gonna have to come in there with two with two sprained ankles. And he had to fight orthodox, and he can't use his lead hand to fight Tank. That's how Mayweather Mayweather's projecting his career and his 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 how he moves his career on Tank. You know what I'm saying? Fighting a whole bunch of Hispanics, no matter if they don't have a name, they got a name. Tank ain't gonna fight nobody, bro. Tank ain't gonna fight nobody. Calvin can want this, but ultimately Mayweather dominates this this and tells him what to do. You know, why fight Lomachenko when ain't nothing on the line? Not a unification, not a title on the line, nothing on the line. Why fight him now? Why now? Makes no sense. Let's Lomachenko get all the belts, and then they say we fight Loma for undisputed. They won't even fight guys like Haney. They won't even fight guys like Camboso. They won't even fight. They won't even send them to go get all the belts. After the Easter Cruz fight, man, don't be surprised they'll fight a nigga from uh, Super Bantamweight and move him up. Don't be surprised they'll throw him in there with Rigan Dial. No, Rigan Dial got a got a uh, fight coming up in uh, Dubai, I believe it is. I think I read somewhere. Don't be surprised they don't get Abner Myers and move him up and have him fight Tank at 140, bro. And it's getting old. And the people sp- spoke. And the next paper, if you're going to do even worse. And the next paper, if you're going to do even worse. I ain't ordering a Roley fight. This is Roley has some... Uh, some police issues, you know, some some issues going on, man. I ain't gonna, that ain't gonna build the storyline up any better. You know what I'm saying? I'm buying it no way. Fight Haney, I'm buying it. I'm going straight up and down. Fight Shakir, I'm buying it. I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Move up, fight Josh Taylor, I go. I buy if you pay, you put it on pay per view. Some fights I buy like Tank. Most definitely, but I don't like how he's moving, bro. Yo, motherfucker, gonna be thirty. We gonna be talking about we seen the best of Tank. Tank, Tank ain't stepped up not one time, brother, than Pedraza. Not one time, and he fought Pedraza years ago, and he never capitalized off that momentum. Never, Barrio. I don't care what Barrios do first, Keith Thurman. I don't care. He go out there, knock out Earl Spence, then we could say knock out Terrence Crawford. We could say okay, it was a good win in high side, but he was drained. All this work around him. Him and Cobra could be fighting for the real Bell probably. You know, him and, you know, him and, him and you know, Valdez could have fought. I, Bob Aaron would have sacrificed Valdez for Tank before he sacrificed his Shakur. Him and Gary Russell could fight. All these good matchups that somebody would, would think, at least think twice about buying and not think and not make a decision or, and make it a straight decision. I ain't buying it. All these fights they could have made, they don't make no good fights. You think I? You think I? You think we think that we know that we not know that he gonna fight Lomachenko? Hell no. Nah. 
Ain't no appreciation in fighting Lomachenko, only depreciation. Now, why would you fight him now? You don't get nothing on the line. Even if you fight him as an old man, he might still whoop you. Tank ain't Tank ain't having to push it. None of his fights, bro. Again, bull fight, he pushed stamina, but he ain't, he ain't having to push it, bro. And that's what happened with Oscar Valdez and Gilberto Ramirez. Bob Arum is one of two of his biggest failures of recent as far as is building a fighter. He never matched them right, and they they plat they 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 just plateaued. Yeah, Oscar Valdez had a good win over uh, Burchett, but Burchett had the virus. That's what nobody talk about. He didn't even make no excuses about it. He had the virus. He had the virus, bro. You know? You know? So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, if you do fight Lomachenko right now, you know, Lomachenko come off a great performance from Richard Comey, but why fight him with nothing on the line? Actually, riddle me that, Batman. Why fight this man when there's nothing on the line? Now, if you go get them undisputed bills, I probably, I probably, uh, maybe, wouldn't count on it. I'm kind of on it, but um, but hey, uh, it is what it is. So I mean, hopefully they do fight. They do fight. Um, they don't fight. They don't fight. Who cares? But uh, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Hit the box news playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um. Hit the bell icon button and subscribe button. Best way to help one financially support the channel. Cash app CJ Good313. Venmo CJ Good313. PayPal link description. Uh all that's in the description. Want to watch me on Twitter? Want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram? Uh I'll link description. If you want to advertise the channel, video request, chop it up, whatever it may be, complain. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time feed.